Okay, uh, this we have reached to the site of tinkercat.com. Now we search for Arduino. So we are going to use Arduino Uno 3. Here it is. Uh, now we are going to take a 7 segment display. So here is a 7 segment display. Now we are going to use uh, that IC CD4511. This is the IC that we are going to use. And one more thing we are going to use resistors also. First and foremost thing we have to do is that, do is that uh, this LED we have to use in the common cathode mode. So here we get now we have to connect register to the, this terminal that is the common terminal of 7 segment LED. Uh, now uh, let us discover about the CD4511. What is, what is it and uh, why it is used. First of all let me clear that if you want to interface 7 segment LED directly then there are uh, totally 8 pins that we have to use for the Arduino. But the function of this CD4511 will uh, reduce the number of pins used. Instead of 8 pins we have to just use eight, uh, 4 pins of Arduino. Uh, this is how it works. Let me show you. See, uh, you can see this is the CD4511 uh, IC. Uh, here the uh, you can see the input B, input C, D and A. Uh, these are the different uh, inputs from the 7 segment LED that uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G uh, and those input uh, are going to so you could see that uh, 8 input devices here it is written output but uh, uh, in our assignment or in our circuit it is uh, going to be an input from the LED side so this will be 8 inputs and we have to give these 8 inputs will be converted into 4 inputs. So let us uh, uh, connect it in such a way. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, these are the two. We have to short circuit this one. This is how we short circuit, and uh, because you can also see in the same way, here these two are input test this 3 and 4 pins has to be short circuited that's why and this has to be connected to a 5 volts uh, again this has to be connected to VCC you can see here it is it will be it is written over here VCC and this VCC has to be connected to 5 volt supply so here we are going to connect it to 5 volt supply now one more uh, shorting we have to do is that you can see over here uh, this store fifth uh, pin and the zero volt this both uh, pin we have to short circuit so let us do that so, and as you can clearly see it is written over here ground so we have to connect this pin to directly ground terminal ground now uh, we have connected uh, we have given 5 volt supply to IC now uh, we have to connect 7 segment LED to this IC but first of all we also need to connect this cathode terminal to ground so let us connect that ok uh, now you can clearly see here it is written A. Uh, A terminal of LED has to be connected to A terminal of IC. So here how it is. You have to connect in such a way. Now B terminal has to be connected to B. Now C has to be connected to C. In, in the similar way we have to connect all other. B. F to L G to G Hence we have connected all the circuits Now these 8 pins of uh, 7 segment LED Now it is converted to leftover 4 pins A This one is B This one is C 
and this one is D. Now A we are going to connect with digital page of uh, let us say uh, 2, digital pin 2. Now uh, we are going to connect B terminal. So we connect B terminal to digital pin 3. Now C terminal to digital pin 4 and uh, D terminal this is this one the last terminal that we are going to connect to digital pin 5 now you can clearly see that uh, if instead of if we, have, if we haven't using the, this IC we would have to connect all 8 pins to Arduino but uh, this uh, IC has reduced the number of pins used in the Arduino instead of 8 we have to just we have just used only 4 pins namely uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5 ok now let's proceed uh, over the coding part so here is the code now we have to get, we have already initialized d is equals to 5 5 c 4 b 3 and a 2 i have already said that uh, thing, uh, in a, while making arduino project these two functions has to be compulsory that that is void setup and void loop and the void setup uh, void setup would be executed only once while the void loop would be executing multiple times now uh, first thing uh, pin mode 2 comma output we have used this one ok uh, which means uh, output means from pin number 2 we are going to get output because uh, from pin number 2 we are going to uh, display various numbers such as 1, 2, 3 any number so that's why we are going to get some or the other output as a variable or something so hence we have uh, used output instead of input in the similar way 2, 3, 4 and 5 all such pins we have connected in such a way and given this command pin mode we have initialized so to get output now uh, initially we have uh, this uh, digital write means uh, at uh, uh, pin number D all the pins we have given the zero volt which means it would be in the low conditions means initially all the uh, segments will be in the off condition so no uh, light would be uh, on that's why all will be on this uh, lower now we go on to void loop this is the second function which is going to be executed multiple times so first we are going to display one now so I forgot to tell you that uh, IC this particular IC if we want to uh, represent uh, display one on the in the seven segment display we have to write the binary code of the one so uh, here I have written uh, I will also show you that see uh, uh, binary code of zero zero is is zero 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 uh, 1 is triple zero 1, 2 is double zero 1 zero in such a way we can display any number like this so here you can see uh, in our uh, simulation we are going to represent first 1 so let us take this triple uh, zero 1 into consideration so uh, here we are writing triple zero is it right d high now here 0 means all the uh, digital pin b, c and d these three pins would be in the low condition means they would be off in the off state while the A pin would be in the high state because here it is 1 and at last we have used the delay of 500 milliseconds using uh, this uh, 500 milliseconds that means uh, 0.5 second uh, means for uh, this much second it would be in the delay condition means after that again the loop will continue to run now uh, let us see the output so here we are first we are going to display one so let us see the simulation so here uh, is the simulation bar uh, let us click on that okay. you can see uh, the we can display one now in the similar way we can also display other numbers such as you can change now let us display um, you can say 8 so from here you can see that uh, binary code of 8 binary code of 8 is 1 triple 0 
So let us do that. Here we change the value one, and this is equal to zero. Now let us display this number. See, you can see that uh, eight is displayed. Let us take some uh, another number also. Uh, you, if you want to display three number, you can see uh, binary code of uh, three is double zero double one. And let us display that. In this, what would happen? Uh, these two uh, pins would be in the low state means it would it would be off condition while these two pins will, would be in on condition so let us uh, start so you can see that uh, let us start the simulation you can see three is being displayed so this is how the circuit works and uh, this uh, ice this ic is mainly used to convert uh, means if you want to get any number uh, we have to just write the binary code of that number and we will get uh, its uh, output in the uh, LED screen. So here we uh, stop this. Now one more thing I want to show you is that uh, the, you can see the details of the, this uh, particular IC on this website. Uh, you can see how this works. These, uh, these two pins are lamp test and blanking test. It is mainly these two are mainly used to, uh, uh, for power supply and these two pins are has to be connected to VCC and has to be given to the Arduino power supply and store and ground has to be connected internally and has to be connected to ground of the Arduino and all other pins of 7 segment LED namely uh, that is ABCDFG has to be connected to, a, uh, to this uh, IC and from uh, this website you can also uh, con uh, get to know about configurations from and different features and technical specifications of this particular IC. I am also going to share this link uh, in uh, my video. One more thing is that you can see the data sheet. Data sheet of this particular IC. There is the full data sheet. You can go through it. Uh, see uh, internal structure of this uh, IC is, is given and the segment identification is also given over here and the truth table that you can see uh, how it internally works this IC how it works in internal processing this you can see from this